After more than 20 years of lobbying and waiting, finally Islamic banking has become a reality in Uganda, with the central bank describing the development as a significant milestone for the country. Speaking during the launch of Islamic banking and the first issuance of Islamic banking license to Salam Bank Limited, the central bank leadership in consensus with the government indicated that establishment of Islamic banking in the country is aimed at promoting financial inclusion and economic development. This, they said, is evident in the principle and practice of the nature of Islamic finance. Islamic banking is based on the principles of Sharia, which prohibits charging of interest, promoting products with uncertainty such as speculation, gambling, and activities that society deems detrimental. So to us, this makes it more ethical and sustainable form of banking and is well suited to the needs of many Ugandans. I am particularly pleased that Islamic banking is not limited to Muslims. The financial offering can benefit everyone regardless of their religious beliefs. So every kind of uh, financing that is done from the Islamic perspective is done on the basis of risk and return sharing, meaning it's actually a partnership. It's not like a lender-borrower kind of relationship that you're used to from the conventional perspective. It prevents harm and yet it promotes attainment of benefits, ethics, fairness and justice. The consensus is that the establishment of Islamic banking in the country was long overdue, but even as it takes shape, it is important to note that it is a financial service based on partnership. Ismail Musa, Ladu, NTV Business.